<laughs> and get Ags and kill all CK soldiers. That, that ping is so sorry, but that's XP. Then he We'll see Puppy probably just emphasizing mostly on that bottom lane as we mentioned because charging Puck, it's it's kind of pointless. It doesn't really, you know, it, it has no no purpose. Well, he's charging bottom lane instead, so they're going for yep. Forever. Yapsaw's actually in kind of a nice position. The Wraith is cutting off the retreat, so Yapsaw moves in. You get your first stun. There's two oh, spark rates on either side. The creep wave soaked up one, but Forever dragged out way too far. And that is going to be first blood on the off lane. He said he needed protection. Frontline and Arcorn and getting online later, because that's just what we see from the hero. The hero needs a lot of time. So they'll, they'll buff up the other guys and make sure they're fine. We'll probably see Puppy get like the casual buff. Or Medallion, something along those lines, just to be able to throw on his teammates. Feby and Puppy having it out a little bit. It's only just, just casual harassment. I think both sides don't really give a crap about this. If you're keeping your... Okay, well maybe you do when you jump down towards Ferev with your charge forward. Yamsaw's in the neighborhood, just keeping them away. Febby, okay. Well, he does have that void thanks to the Crepa fire. The amplification was there. Puppy's He's... dropping low, yeah. and he won't make it to the Wolves in time. So Ferev able to level up the kill count. So it's, it's good for the DK. It's probably even better the fact that Puck's staying toe-to-toe -to -toe when the difference between the one positions is so different. Like, Ace is just shy of level level 4. He's got 12-4 CS at the moment. Comparing that to the CK, who's 4 and four and a third and 24-9 on the CS. So Kira is having a lot better time. Febby trying to keep his fun fun time going as nighttime's just begun. Puppy voided up. The run is still going to go. And Febby's got the move for speed to work it. And Puppy, no way to escape from that one, especially when the split bar provides more damage. Yapsaw's going to be quick to follow up. Even though he gets the AoE's done, you got MP's rotation. Orbs over. Oh. Yapsaw tries to deny himself, but Febby just get the claws into his. CS is pretty massive. Now Secret's actually just rotating because they don't feel like they can stop that pressure. They have to try to pressure Q on here. This is tough. Where's they the TP have, support? They don't have Infernal Blade, but they might have enough anyway to chase him out with that secondary bash from Puppy. They need to bring bring the Doom in range for the burn, and it will be Scorched tries to kill him, even though he's hiding in the trees. Father is able to find that kitchen area. They're able to see any kind of counter movement from Team Secret. So. Easy to escape, no real risk maneuver, but they go to bottom lane. That is where Arc Warden being attacked under the tower. He's trying to get the spark rays down. Febby's going to tank up most of it, allowing Ferev to keep attacking. Hits that level 3 nether blast as Ace cuts through the tree lines. Another spirit down, but the silence MP able to hit him with both the orb and the rift, giving him the damage they need. And Immortals will take the T1 tower to follow CK. Going to go into Chaos Bolt, as well as his full ultimate. Fantastic needs that damage to kill off Yapsa with a fade bolt. Damage reduced and reinforcements have arrived from Team Seeker, but so as it has from MP. A three-man dream coil. They actually keep QO alive. He's salving up, ready to fight once more. And that Scorched Earth from Farda is now worn out. Mid-1 will arrive. A double damaging dragon. A perfect time for Mid-1 to come in. In. A double kill for him, and now both sides will claim the safe lane tier one towers. That was a great rotation. Yep, perfect. Fine. This hero takes quite a while still, and QO is feeling the pressure. Even though he was free farming up a bit top, he's zero and two now. He's queued up a Midas. On yeah, he's actually end. changed his mind. Two boots on the run on top lane. Quick Inferno Blade's gonna hit him. MP able to kill off Puppy in jungle in the meantime. Get his items online. They're charging MP. It looks like Team Secret want to fight in the bottom lane. MP, okay, they're going to pull out the Spark Wraith. Triggered out by Ace, and now he's going to clone it up as well, looking for as much damage as he can to Febby, who starts his TP. Yapsaw will cancel it, however. And Ace will come back. I think he's going to smoke up and try and push. Trying to get some kind of pick off here. He's going to be puppy, but under the shrine? He should be fine with the charge away. Yeah, he's gone. Mm -hmm. so they'll find him. And they will find the DK. Crepa find up, Puppy's already started this charge out, but Fado with a TP. Again, Team Seeker coming in force. Did he just get the stun after, after the Life Strange started again? The top lane trying to finish up his full veil. And not too far off at 250 gold. So they'll have, you know, they'll have, except he just got doomed. So all that wonderful money which he's got, Fado is on the run. Support's coming in, so if Fado commits to this, he may die to QO as well as Forev. The Crepify is there, they start draining out the Doombringer. Support is not coming in from Team Secret. So Fada, who has one kill and zero deaths, is now going to have his first death of the game. MP will probably survive. One for four, but he went for the four max points in the stun. A bit different from the place that we've been seeing. Puppy charge top, Forev. Should be getting brought down here quite easily. Yeah, that spark is gonna rip him apart. Long yeah. duration hurts, and then Father Infernal Blades him. Maybe. I like the reality rift max build a lot. 
So oh. if he keeps hitting four second stuns, we'll say he's a genius. For yeah. now, fair enough. Dubu in a little bit of trouble inside the Radiant Jungle. Arctic Burns oh. could be stolen by Yapsaw. That's a very nice bonus steal. A very easy kill for mid one. Having a double damage room ready. I think he actually finished up. Was it a blink dagger? He has a full shadow blade already actually coming on the dragon knight. Yeah, he's the one that wants to initiate, but he's but being he's initiated stopped. on right now. The mortals is all over him. The shadow blade does come in, but Febby will find the kill just in time before the Invis can be triggered off the app store. That little Arctic burn, or sorry, his darkness, uh, just flying himself away. Puppy, reinforcements in, but now he's dragged in by QR. So back to back kills now here for Immortal. They may go for a little bit more. The invis there. No, it's just split second timing though. Mid one a bit unlucky there with the courier. Might have been able to live. <laughs> Yapsol looks Pretty so funny. bloody stupid riding his roofs to do the darkness. He's the ultimate witch or warlord, however you want to put it. Ferev picked off. Simp. Ferev, while this push is happening up on top, we've got double TPs coming down the bottom lane. Ferev being charged. Dead Wolf is in the trees, which now get broken apart. Ferev! That damage is high! Does the Crepify up quickly? Marta in the name. Will Ferev try and drain up the catapult to try and stay alive? Ah, uh, he was dead anyway, but. Yeah. Slow them misclick there, probably trying to click the Doom. It's gonna start causing them a lot of problems when. Well, I say when BTs arrive, but for the moment, Ace is still working on his Maelstrom. Yeah. Oh, yep, sir. Might get caught out here though. He has the Nether Bust, but he doesn't have any defensive. Yeah, he doesn't have any except that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that decrepifies the Veil. There's so much amplification they're gonna be scared of, and Yapsaw is copying at the moment, moving back behind the tower. They'll be able to get the Void off, but not before the Crepify wears out. So there's not as much damage as they would have really liked. Support is TPing in, Fader as well as mid one, passing past the Shrine Ivan. Oh, he doesn't find the uh, the Dragon Knight, sorry. They're both stalking. Elder Dragon one has more knock off, but not think it really wants to fight this. They have to stall more. Spirit Breaker's charging top. We'll see if uh, mid one doesn't react to it as all the fight in the mid. They charge the opposite direction, leaving Fader exposed, as well as that mid team one tower. So, both Fader and try. But they have to move over. Roshan's going down. It's taking a little bit of time. Thanks to Reality Rift, you do have the negative armor they're looking for. Maybe Kirby should die. That creeps? Yeah, let me just check the position of it. Yeah, it was yeah, it was it was creeps between the tier 2 and tier 3 tower in mid. Okay, this is just the build on the CK. Usually we see the armlet in between, not the shadow wrap around. They're looking to have a crack over on Febby. Yapsol's gonna get the pick up and MP to jump in. Three man silence and dreams. Kyle, mid one is the BKB to protect him, but then he's instantly cursed up. Father and Ace attacking into him. Now he breaks free and Febby will end up falling. QO's in the back lines, but all the moment he's doing is attacking a clone. It's not enough for him to really fight with. Put him to the boy in the bubble moment. Mid one, he'll find the kill getting drained down. There's only the Aegis he mauled to burn. So a one for one trade off the supports plus the Aegis. Doombringer caught on the wrong side of the tracks. Trevor finds that Kuro has to wait to attack him, and that will allow MP to find a Doom target. I think he did. Yeah, he did Q about Doom Dagger next episode. He's very durable, but he can't really get a Doom on. MP, that's a fun jump. Sounds a mid one as well as Yamso, who's killing off the ward while Puppy was charging forward to QO, more supports coming in, but QO goes to the Phantasm, the Chaos Bolt, two seconds on over on mid one, now stolen by Yapsaw, ready to inflict it into the Chaos Line, a four second stun for Yapsaw, plus the reveal of dust, nowhere to hide, QO will end up falling, he cannot go in this with a Shadow Blade because of that dust, there is a little bit of a revenge, however, a perfect dream call, giving MP a double kill, but Immortals, they don't have the numbers anymore. Three heroes down, it's about to become four, a quick phase shift, and will that jump away? It won't happen. Oh it was goodness. a stolen ward? Is that- Deck the game, just fight, 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 and that's, that's Immortals in a nutshell. Yeah. Like we said. I'm wondering if it's also Immortals thinking, like, it's more about the high ground than anything else. Yeah, so, MP support's gonna be there in the form of Dubu. They get the strike onto MP as Puppy starts running up into the river. Really on the wrong side of this. So Bevy's able to help bring him down with the help of Rev. The curse keeping Doombringer out of the fight. While oh. it will be Ace trapped in by q -Wark. And here is that damage of Mortal Wands. With mid one's BKB wearing off, he's out of range of any kind of detection. There's no gem, there's no dust. So he can just keep the run going. And Bevy focusing the grab at the gap so he can't reach him. So he voids Finer instead. QO, he's on the way in. Reality Rift pulling him to doom. So much negative armor and the force that can chaos bolt. Combine it with the sucky of Forev. They'll bring down Fada and they're looking for another bigger one. They're gonna be the last Dragon Slayer if possible. Mid one's on the run. The last survivor of his race. Team Secret being that. All five down.
Maybe they can get the Chaos Knight. No, they can't. The Doom isn't it. And it actually pulls Ace into it, so he can't use his hero, right? And then Duo comes in, and Reality rips him out of it. Oh. And then the game is going, oh, Ace ports right into his death. It's looking light onto the shrine. He's got it up, though. He's going to build a man fight for a bit. Oh, my God. Is he going to kill Perez? Ace, he's looking for He's in the bubble for Perez oh, to grab a fire and MP. In through the rear to blame the real and the clone. Oh. Where the lightning procs where he needed them. This will open up the shrines as well, so the only out of position the Team Secret have to work with. Under threat if they can bring it down the darkness, up for Febby, so vision game from Team Secret is even worse. They only barely see outside their base with this vision chain. QO into the spark race, but all he's gonna do is back up, regenerate up a little bit once the heart kicks in. And they can just keep doing this time and time again. Yeah, four of almost up to 20 now, too. Oh, he's ready to close. Mid one initiates. He's looking for the kill on, on the on the punter. It won't work when Dubu is there to protect him. With that cold embrace, Fada in as they way too deep. He's underneath his own tier 3 tower. And that's not enough to survive. Puppy will get brought down as well on the back lines. And it looks like Immortal are cracking the top of the team secret base. They'll go in. They'll kill off mid one. QO is got a triple kill. Firebacks coming sick and fast from team secret. It's all or nothing. They have to find a defense here, fighting against the Nether Ward, hard to do, they don't have any reveal, they've lost the gem as well, DK's not buying back, without Dragon Form, it is kind of futile to do so anyway, but with Ace, they can at least force them back out, Nightstalker will die, but when Nightstalker is worth almost 600 gold for a kill, you know you're in a bad position, Farda will blink in for the Doom, keeping partner off the line, Huo's in deep, remember he's got the AKC more, but where's the detection, he's walking out, Farda comes back in again, he's He's got the gem of true side, so Q or a quick reality rift. Dubu will curse over on Fada. Ace keeping the distance for the moment. They'll get a quick infernal blade. Q O needs to die here now. Team Secret, they need some exit kills. Q O being picked up by Yamsa. Hold him in close. Hold him in tight to the bosom of Team Secret. Q O will end up falling. 80 seconds for him on the sidelines. And for all the buybacks and which Team Secret actually committed, they get huge kills. But right now they're they're lacking damage. So highly, Dubu has been so on point with his cold embrace. He's going to be found. He's actually going to go for the wide. Have they got enough damage with the spark right there? Dubu, he's going to cold embrace himself up. Needs the life. Ace looking for the magical damage through that Yonder, and he's going to get him as well. The follow up bash now. The strike into Bebby. Multiple heroes down for Immortals, and they don't have buyback. And that's the gem. Now they take the gem from uh, Bebby. The fight. It's gonna be wearing out soon. Uh, maybe that you don't have the They're fight. trying to just pick it. They're trying to just go for it right now. They're looking for the QO. Yep. They've got the form. on him. And it's nice. Remember, he's still got the heart. And that shrine's available. If they can reach it, then the mortals will have a chance to fight. The curse is there. And space is getting created. And the counter curse is onto the partner. But the cold embrace from Dubu will protect him for a little bit. Ace is still there to bring in that bit, that magical damage. And under the shrine, it's still not enough. Double buybacks on the way for mortals. They want to win this fight while MP was picking up the back. Lines, ripping it down for the count. Ace also caught in no man's land. So a bit of a quick breakout. It was just the illusion for the moment. The clone, the real one, is being chased down by the puck. Here comes your TP. Where's the disable? Where's the stun? It doesn't approach it this time. It hasn't worked the last times you pushed into the team secret base. What do you change to be effective? Maybe not this, like losing Cuckoo in such a such a position. Or well, actually, maybe they don't. MP jumps in, double dream call. Initiation was there. Yapsaw goes and tries to protect him, but just amplifies the damage of MP's Dagon. And the stun, Harpy, they keep pushing him down with the four star. A three second run. But then again, you've got the CK so far on the front lines. There's no buyback available from Yapsaw. Puppy gets drained out by Ace. Aegis Immortal is burnt, but there's the curse. Slowing down the fight. Dubu trying to bail out. He cannot do so. Not enough life, not when Fata was that close to him. Now the three seconds on another day gone kill. Buyback of the team Seeker can at least get back to a three man lineup, but that will be all they have for this unless mid one can find the perfect jump. It's not going to be the perfect jump, it's oh like it's the my. worst jump! He just gets exploded! No buyback for the DK! What do you do here? The Doombringer and the Arc Warden, they are the ones that have to hold it, but Ace gets pulled in, it's the BKB doing the work at least for his clone. The real one is back at base, but this looks like a double lane of racks that Immortals can now claim. Having level 25 now, Kilo can use the reality rift to use that BKB. With that is this three? Is this three lanes? Mid one still can't come back. I think we should be 
They got the Doom off on the CK. That's though. nice. He doesn't actually have the Aegis Immortal anymore. So Kuro will fall. That's two minutes without the CK. The Gem and True Sight also lost. Is this again Immortal for back here on time? MP's come in. He wanted to try and grab the Gem. That won't quite work. Was out of vision of Immortals, hoping that someone will just come an inch too close. The problem oh, being more no. MP. Whoa, hey! What? Uh, uh, control, Halt, Delete, Hero. Except you can't restart for 75 seconds. Now Dubu comes out the curse, it's only on the clone puppy. Turning around, just staring at the clone, but Dubu is in trouble. And the strike will pull him back out again. And now it's all really up to Ace to keep this pressure on. Without the DK, they don't have that fantastic push power, but they have the damage. Baby copping so much so quickly, they need to get a lane of Rax. That's what they need to bounce out, but in 20 seconds time, the ZK is back to the world of the living, and Team Secret, just how far can you force it? Febby is hovering around, you got the movement speed on Farda, and here comes MP, looking to force the fight. Eight seconds till the return of ZK. Febby in the middle of it all with the Dream Call, controlling up Team Secret. They've already found one kill, it's on to Farda. He's down for a very long time, Ace still alive and kicking for the moment, but with the return of ZK, QO comes in, he TPs on top of the Shrine, and now he'll start ripping apart the Mad Cow, who just madly charges back to the safety of base, but MP too quick with the Yule Scepter, cutting off the retreat. Dagon's down the Mad Cow, and the disease is being... Even though they have BKBs, just, if they don't get it off, they just get insta-bursted from fall. Nope. Literal 2200 damage. It's like the second he gets bailed. Okay, well, I'm done. QO walking up into the high ground, getting stunned up, comboed, got Phantasm. That's a lot of drain, and now it's one that's damage. All that Dragon Blood armor and regeneration is counting for nothing in a four second stun on Ace. That could be the game right there. Ace will buy it back. Yamcor trying to buy some time with the Ghost. But once again, all it does is amplify MP's power. Four heroes down. None of them have buyback. Megas will be granted to immortals. And it looks like game one of this series will come along with it. The curse perfectly onto Ace. They'll finish the job here, immortals. Team Secret. Pushing up the bases. GG. That was crazy. There's 73, there's 73 kills in this game. Immortals are the most bloodthirsty team I've ever seen. Props to them, though, giving everyone a lot of entertainment with the total dagger. Really nice little intricate plays coming out from like, the Duplin, in particular with the Golden Brace.